Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Super Bowl Sunday and it's a beautiful day on oh the Texas God. Gulf Coast. In incredible. <laughs> so of course, we're cooking outside. We're cooking outside, having a bunch of friends over. I mean, this is one great thing about staying at one spot for a little while. We got to make a lot of friends and uh, we're gonna have a lot of them over. I mean, we're actually having a Super Bowl party. Yes, we are. And so even some of our friends are coming from some of the neighboring RV parks. Yeah, that's right. So it should be fun. Yeah, so stick around. making some homemade coleslaw for the Super Bowl party today. And we actually have a video, if you're interested in our recipe, um, I included it in our, in our uh, video about uh, when we did the brisket in the Green Mountain Grill. And uh, so I'll link to the website where we've got the full recipe because it is pretty tasty. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're getting things ready for our Super Bowl party here at uh, Jamaica Beach. We're having a few folks over and, you know, getting it started. We're going to use both grills today. Uh, I'm going to, on the charcoal grill, going to do some chicken wings. And uh, on the Green Mountain Grill, we're going to do some pork tenderloin. So we're looking forward to having a great time. It's an incredible day here. It's in the 70s. Uh, beautiful blue skies, so it ought to be a lot of fun. Okay, <coughs> got our pork tenderloin on. We were going to do pork shoulder, but the store was out and oh darn, we have to do tenderloin. <laughs> but we're going to cook it to 145 degrees and I think it's going to be pretty darn good. Star's ready. Yes, she is. All right, so now I've finished up the Texas caviar. And uh, this is always a fun light side or dip if you want to use it with chips or crackers. I'm going to put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator and let it all come together. If you're interested in uh, the recipe for this, um, I will put a link in the description where we have the recipe. But it's black beans and, and uh, black eyed peas and a whole bunch of good stuff. It's our version of Texas caviar. Okay, we got the wings on, and we're using, I'm using both grills so we can get everything done. But you can see here, here's these, and then over here. The pork, obviously I already took the pork tenderloins off, and ha, they look good. And I had a little bitty piece and it tasted. <laughs> so we're going to have fun here today. We're, we're really looking forward to everybody showing up. Caviar came out great. I tried out for one of those cooking competitions. Oh, did you really? Barbecue sauce is homemade. It was kind of rigged. Oh, nice. That looks really good. How's that? Oh, there you go. I love it.
We all got some Texas caviar here that Tom and Stacy made just a minute. Let me see how good it is. Oh my. That's good stuff. Yourself. Huh? Because I'm eating. <laughs> wow, that was a good time. Oh my gosh, yes it was. You know, that's one thing. RVers are so awesome. And to be able to meet people and already have a connection with them almost right away and to be able to have something like that where you just say, hey, what are you doing? Come on over. You a know? spur of the moment thing and really came together well. Um, also, you know, we did a video last year on the 2019 Super Bowl and it was totally different. I mean, we'll put a link down below because Stacy and I were kind of isolated <laughs> yeah we were yeah. at Quintana Beach County Park last year and uh, we didn't know any of the folks there we uh, and no but none of our friends or anybody could have been were even close yeah. I mean so but we still cooked and did all that and of course in the link we have all of the recipes and stuff of everything we cooked last year so I'll put a link to that in the description in case you're interested yeah and I'll also put a link to some of the things we made this time in case you want the recipes for that like the Texas caviar oh gosh that was good thank you <laughs> <laughs> and her coleslaw was awesome as well how did that pork tenderloin turn out oh it turned out great yeah I it mean everything was so good and uh, Everybody else, I mean, Tom and his beans that he brought. And, oh, yeah. And uh, Amy with the mac and cheese. That was really good. And Matt with his shrimp and sausage. And uh, yeah, he came over and he asked me while I was cooking. He said, I can cook it over at my place, but if you want, I'll just bring it over here. And we said, why not? I've, I had both of them ready for him to cook on. Yeah. And, and then Krista's corn and Tony's brownies and <laughs> I mean it was just and then we got some cookies tons later of on too. oh yeah thanks Vicky <laughs> yeah Vicky and her cookies um, I mean it's amazing like we said how quick it came together and and uh, and we had great weather we got just like today wow so lucky yeah um, to have wonderful weather to be able to sit outside in February and enjoy we, we watched the, the outdoors. We watched the entire game outdoors. I oh, mean, yeah. the weather was so perfect. We watched the whole thing. And hey, how about that halftime show? I mean, I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. Hey, I think J-Lo looks awfully good for 50 years old. And I got some work to do, obviously. <laughs> Oh, she's doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it would it was it was a great game too. We really enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed the game and hope your favorite team or the team you were pulling for won. Um I I mean for me, both of those teams are great. I would have been happy with either one of them, but it was it was a good game and that was awesome. Yep, it was. And but it was just fun to hang out with everybody and get to visit and you know, catch up and have good food, you know, and that's always fun for the Super Bowl is good. the food. The food, <laughs> and I think we did it right. Yeah, And uh, it was fun. You know, we'll, maybe we'll, next year we'll see, maybe we just keep this tradition going and every year we'll try to film a video. We'll see how it comes together, but this is two years in a row and we always, Stacy and I at the Sticks and Bricks, we always did something for Super Bowl. Uh, sometimes we went to other people's house or whatever, or their party, and other times we'd have a party, right. you know, because, I mean, the Super Bowl is one of those events where even if you don't watch football, you get together with people for the Super Bowl, and it's, so it's a neat event. We were glad to be able to host an event this year. Yeah, thanks to everybody who came out and joined us. That yeah. was a ton of fun. Just because you're on the road doesn't mean you have to give up things like this. Yeah, and absolutely. And we did, I think I mentioned this in the video, but we did. We had folks 
um, from three different RV parks here locally yeah. that came over and joined us. So that was a lot of fun to be able to, you know, have everybody meet everybody and yep. hang out. Yep. Yeah, stars going crazy here right now. <laughs> Puppy so, passing by. <laughs> so I guess we'll wrap this one up and, uh, you know, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe. We'll see you on Wednesday <laughs> yeah. from Winging It. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Safe travels. And happy camping. Bye. Bye.